And so when I came back from the preceptorship, I said, I'm going to go back and I'm going to tackle this one third that no one knows anything about uh, the, the business of dental hygiene. And let's see if we can do a better job. So this is dental hygiene. It's either powered by a motor scooter or a SpaceX rocket or something in between. These are your 40 inch rows right here. These are people who just refuse to move. All they do is complain about their dental hygiene program. They're not making money. It's a lost leader, blah, blah, blah. And then these are the 5%. These are the people that knew that if we narrowed our rows, we could double and triple our yield, okay? And they have incredible practices. I've had an incredible clinical practice. And right now I'm coaching young individuals to have the same thing. So we need to shift from clinical findings to biological diagnosis, from clinical hard sell to biological show and tell. Okay, that's why the Larkin method, the Larkin protocol really falls under interpersonal skills and not so much a clinical technique. I want you to know that this is about education and awareness and getting patients involved in their own personal wellness journey. And so that's what the Larkin protocol has come to be, to be called. And this is what it is. It's the use of a chair side microscope that I've designed to be non-intimidating. There's no eyepieces. I don't want you to be intimidated. And that's a spirochete that we're looking at. It takes a minute to take this sample. This is a parasite. This is an amoeba. You have patients in your practice with these that you see every day. You can't diagnose this with the notch metal stick but these are very bad for your overall health. And when people see this, they become engaged in the fact that you're doing something very different that is in their best interest. So this is um, a little bit of the microbiology of what we look at. Just a small group of things. It's, I, I don't want people to be intimidated by this. And we do what's called risk assessment, okay? And you, you go from a low risk environment to a high risk environment, and the high risk environment, once you get into any type of uh, bleeding, you have a communication into the bloodstream and then you have the arterial component of inflammation. Now, we take that one step further and in the States, we, we can do biofilm PCR testing where we can identify the exact pathogens. And once we have the pathogens, this is well established that these periodontal pathogens are involved with these systemic diseases. This is a very important uh, message that our patients need to know about. I'm gonna go over two brief studies that people don't even know exist. This is the American Heart Association. Es essentially what this is, is patients in periodontal care, this is the reversal of heart disease. And I have a longer presentation where I show um, uh, my carotid ultrasounds and what's happened over time uh, using the veil 